The Katipunan ng mga artista ng pelikulang Pilipino, the Film Academy of the Philippines, and Airtime Marketing Incorporated now invite you to the fabulous action of the year's most star-studded sports event. This is Star Olympics 94. Hello everybody and welcome to the second day of competitions dito sa Star Olympics for 1994. We know that you've seen already two episodes and you will see two more starting with our coverage here today and on the 18th. Ladies and gentlemen, beside me is Miss Anjanette Abayari and I would like to congratulate you for the beautiful performance of your movie at hindi lang sikat sa tilsa ang ganda-gandang pelikula. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, we missed you last week. Hindi ka yata nakalaro sa Star Olympics. Yeah, basic kasi ako sa mga promotions for the movie but kahit na wala ako dito leading pa rin ang team namin oh, Tide Ultra White has 52 points so we're in first place pa rin Okay, and Anjanette will be jumping into the pool in just a short while we'll have the Star Olympics underway in just a very short while We'll start off ladies and gentlemen with Donita Rose as well as Jackie Aquino. This is a 4x25 women's relay. We take off. Good start by Jackie Aquino. However, Donita Rose quickly catching up. Donita slightly ahead as they move towards the wall. Waiting there are Susan Lozada as well. Jessica Diaz, Susan Lozada, three lengths ahead, Cheryl Cruz is waiting for the white squad, Cheryl's squad, Cheryl's squad is ahead, it is Sylvia Sanchez waiting, Cheryl Cruz losing some momentum there that was created by Lozada, Cheryl still ahead, it will be Anjanet Abayari who will be waiting, Anjanette screaming at Cheryl, let's go, let's go, let's go, and Anjanette is ready to take off. Anjanette is way ahead, and now she has a, a, a half a lap lead, and it looks like the white squad will take this easily. Anjanette Abayari will touch the wall first, and the white squad takes care of the swimming competition, this power-packed swimming team winning against the green squad in the 4x25 women's relay. Congratulations to my team. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you, Joy. Very, very happy. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you sa lahat-lahat ng um, kasama dito sa, sa um, game na ito, sa larong ito, sa event na ito. At congratulations sa green team for being such a good sport. Ayun na. And Jeanette, ano mga preparations ang ginawa ninyo para sa swimming? <laughs> well, lots of practice. <laughs> Woo! Ako, um, linulok ko lang yung bato. Okay na ako eh. Ah, <laughs> Dar na talaga. Doon ito nahihirapan ka ba? Medyo, nung umpisa, akala ko... Um, nervous lang? Oo, oh, ninervyos ako. Tsaka sumakit yung tiyan ko. Saka kang ano, nervyos. Pero, okay, okay, okay naman. Okay, okay naman. At ito na mga kaibigan. Kaya po sila nalalo. Eh, sus ko naman. Give away naman si Susan Lozada. Hello, Susan. Anong masasabi mo naman? Um, sabi ko, I'd like to thank my ano my teammates. Kasi ang galing-galing nila. They tried their best. And also, the um, the other teams, they were very good sport. And I would like to thank God. Thank you very much. Ayun po. <laughs> and to all our sponsors too. Yes. That's right. Ikaw, Jackie, kamusta ka na? Are you feeling okay? Yes. I was, I was the best. No, I didn't even join. But I was nervous for my teammates. I knew they can do it. Okay, would you like to thank your inspiration, Jackie? Yes. Yes. Um, the white team. No. Hi, Benj. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, white team. Congratulations! Yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, it is only in the Star Olympics wherein we have new events, ladies and gentlemen, that you may or more or less not be so accustomed to. We will have a 3 by 50 meter event, ladies and gentlemen, wherein this is a men's All event. Right. Each swimmer, papahakinya po, two ways, each uh, from one end to the other, as we go this way, is 25 meters. Okay, to establish the green uh, in the bottom of your screens, ladies and gentlemen, is the red team. They will be led by Miko Manson, Richard Bonin, and Dante Granillo. 
And we also have in this lane, the blue team, the second to the top of your screens, that is Mandy Ochoa, Trey Soler, and Gabriel Romulo. In the next lane, uh, checking that it's the right lane, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, slight edge now by White. Gabriel Romulo with a slight edge at this point. However, Dandin Ranilio just a bit catching up. He is from the red team. This very undermanned and a bit of controversy within squad. Dandin stopping, trying to keep up a space here. In second spot is the white team. Quickly making a spurt. Okay, the white squad with a slight edge now. They are in lane number three from the bottom of your screen. Lane number three, that is the white squad. They are several lengths ahead. Just about ready to win this. Richard Bonny is the white squad. And Devin Villarama, Devin Villarama of the white squad finishing first. And the red team finishing second. And it's blue which will pick up third most likely. And trying to complete, ladies and gentlemen, their turn. This is the green team. This is uh, George Stregan uh, Jr. And he will pick up the rear. And let's be official about the whole thing. Winning this event, ladies and gentlemen, and picking up 10 points. This is not a fun event, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. This is part and parcel of a major event, of the major event program. This is the white squad picking up 10 points in this event. Congratulations, white team. Galing nyo talaga. What happened, Ronnie? Nap, nap. Napul yung muscle, di ako nakastretching mabuti. Nung pabalik, sa gitna bigla nag-snap din ganito, ang sakit. Pero kayang-kaya nyo, nahabol mo, Epi, ang galing-galing mo talaga! Yeah, thank you, thank you. And nakita kong nagka-cramp si Kuya, tapos nalamang yung mga kalaban namin. Basta pagtalo ko, bumanat na lang ako, hato na lang. Galing, Devin! Uh, first of all, thanks Ronnie, buti lang nakahabol si Ronnie. Medyo pinaganda pa kasi ni Ronnie. Ni Ronnie Laro eh, si Jeffy. Pinahirapan yung kapatid niya eh. Ganyan talaga, white team eh. Ginagawang exciting ang game, di ba? O, oh, white team, white team cheer. O, oh, di ba? O, oh, so ano yes. technique ninyo? Technique, technique. Any techniques? Ma ma meron kayong ginive up, sinacrifice, you know, puyat, um, whatever. Wala. Sana ang technique namin ngayon just to pace ourselves because kasi marami pa kami gagawin. Kami lang ang tat tatlong lalaki dito ngayon eh. So in over team. event nga kami ni Devin kung saan sa kami nilalagay nito eh. Pero congratulations. Exciting yung game ninyo kahit ano naging problema. Always naman ganyan eh. Pala may problema white team pero nakaka-survive. Oh, diba? So congratulations guys. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Again, the object of the game, ladies and gentlemen, each team, this is a relay. We shall cross from side to side, and the gentle, it's a mixed relay. The male members of the team are waiting on the other end, ladies and gentlemen. Let's run through the teams. The white team, which is in the third lane, ladies and gentlemen, will go with Cheryl Cruz, Ami Austria, Ronnie Kison, and Jeffrey Kison. The Kison uh, gentlemen proving to be quite a pair of athletes for the white team. The blue team will go with Marjorie Barreto, Princess Punsalan, Mandy Ochoa, and Gabriel Romulo. The green team, ladies and gentlemen, goes with Maita Sanchez, Ed de Los Cilio, Hero Bautista, and Silvia Sanchez picking up the end. The third team, medyo kulang hunang tao, no? It's Richard Bonin, Bembo Rojo, and Diane Castillejo. One person will go twice. Just about ready, oh! ladies and gentlemen. Don Pepo, who is the Thank annotator you. for our Star Olympics, informing the, all the participants that we are just about ready to go with this 4 by 25 meter relay. Kaya Chris, we get underway. 
Okay, nagsisimula na po mga kaibigan. A very slight edge by uh, Maita ating, Sanchez, which is the green team. But Dayan Castillejo oh, trying to go boy, paddle for paddle eh, here. Ng, uh, 25 meter. Running into Ayan. problems is Marjorie Ayan. Barreto. She is off the track. The trick here is to have a steady stroke, ladies and gentlemen, Ayan. so that you're going in a straight line. We have the first Ayan. turn, red and green. green. Not too much of a problem. Hero Bautista and we have Richard going in already on the beat, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to call it one. Richard going in with the edge. He's running for the Snaku Red team. Excellent, simple paddles. Not too much big strokes. The trick here is to have short, consistent strokes. And now Dandil Ranillo. We'll take up the, pa the paddle now. We now move. Oh, please. Uh, somebody turning over. Gabriel Romulo managing to stay alive there. Dandil Ranillo. Slightly ahead in the race so far, ladies and gentlemen. Gabriel Romulo is now being lapped. He is of the blue team. Dandy Ranillo, ladies and gentlemen, with a slight edge as of this point. And we have the turnover. Diane Castillero, we pointed out earlier, will have to do this twice. She is now ahead. This undermanned snuck. Underman's oh, splash Dios, red team is making a splash here, ladies and gentlemen. They are just in their steady strokes. Yes. Looks like Bembo Rocco will not be available, ladies and gentlemen. It will be Richard Bonning. He will do the final. It is still the red squad in front. Running second, ladies and gentlemen, is the green team. The green team is running second. Of course, you pick up points as well here. Seven points for these fun events. Well, I wonder what happened to the red squad. What happened to the red squad? Yes. Yes. Yes, we lack. They turned it down. Yes, we have red finishing first. Blue finishing second. Let's do the order properly here. Red finishing first. We have blue finishing second. White finishing third. And picking up the rear is Potogo Blue. You know, ladies and gentlemen, just a teeny bini bit of controversy surrounding the kayak event earlier. Officially on the screens, ladies and gentlemen, you saw the red team take the kayak event with a time of 1 minute 59.39 seconds. However, due to the fact that they were really undermanned and siguro may communication gap ng konti lack of relaying information, going into the event, talaga pong default na ho yung red. So that in, uh, went into a bit of controversy so officially the green team picked up 10 points there in the overall swimming or in the water events competition white finishing second with seven points and the blue team finishing third officially getting five points however it's important to note that the red team ladies and gentlemen will be picking up for all the medals the gold medals for that particular event although they will not be receiving any points for that particular kayak event Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just about ready to start with the final event, okay. which is a paddleboard event. This is involving the stars in a 4 by 25 meter mixed relay. Okay, just about ready to start. The announcer has given the starting announcement. For red, we'll have Mike Castillo, Miko Manson, Ace Cruz, and Richard Bonin. The red team, again, ladies and gentlemen, going for the medals more than anything else, simply because due to a lack of female personnel for these swimming events. We shall go to the blue team, which will have Marjorie Barreto, Princess Punsalan, Mandy Ochoa, and Gabriel Romulo. On the other side, as we start off, we will have the blue, the white squad, Jeffrey Kison, Ronnie Kison, Cheryl Cruz, Jackie Forster. Green squad will have Hiro Bautista, Sonny Morales, Maite Sanchez, and Ilona Jean. As we take a look now, we find the Princess Punsalan is having a slight edge and she does look extremely beautiful in her dance center swimwear which has provided all of the 
swimwear for the swimming competition. It is Gabriel Romola of the Portugal Blue Squad. You think this is easy? Try swimming with a paddle board. The Red Squad has a slight edge, but again, they will not pick up any points here should they win this event. Red still with the edge. It is Mike Castillo. Mike Castillo smiling to the crowd. However, White giving a strong challenge here. It is Richard Bonin just a wee bit ahead, half a length ahead of Cheryl Cruz. And if you notice, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Squad has gone with an all-male contingent for this particular event, thus um, compounding some of their problems as far as the event is concerned. They do not have enough female participants. The Red Squad is still ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have the White Squad. We take a look, of course, as far as this event is concerned, to the team that will have the points. And clearly at this juncture, it is the White Squad that is ahead. Red looks like it will take... The slight edge, but White will win this event and get the points. If you say just win the points, White has gotten it. And Green really, Snuckle Green really suffering in the swimming events, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like officially the White squad picking up the victory here and it looks like they will win the swimming competition. Okay, kasama natin ngayon ang white team na nanalo sa paddleboard swimming. How do you feel sa pagpanalo ninyo? Ang <laughs> <laughs> mga pagod sila lahat, hindi sila makasagot. Pero, what, what do you think are the factors na nanalo kayo dito sa karerang to? Uh, yeah, it was teamwork. Nobody quits. Everybody tries to finish and tries to do his best. Balita ako palagi ka nagkaka-cramps. Hindi ka naman siguro nag-cramps, no? Uh, later on, no. But my, my knees are shaking, though. Pero kasi kulang lang ng warm-up actually kanina. Okay, thank you very much and congratulations. Okay, the lane assignments, the red team will be at the bottom of your screens, ladies and gentlemen. They will be banned by Richard Bonin, Miko Manson, Mike Castillo, and Diane Castillejo. The second team from the top of your, from this, your screens, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have the blue squad. We will go with Princess Punsalan, Marjorie Barreto, Gabriel Romulo, and Mandy Ochoa. We now go to the white team, which is so far leading the swimming competitions. They go with uh, Susan Lusada, Anjanet Abayari, Jeffrey Kison, and Devin Villarama. The green squad, which will be at the topmost part of your screens, will have Cheska Diaz, Silvia Sanchez, Georgie Stregan Jr., and Eddie Boy Bellosilio. Okay. Given this event, ladies and gentlemen, I understand also that Diane Castillejo, which will be in lane number one, there is no official, there are really no official lane assignments in numbering, you know. Diane Castillejo uh, is the lone female swimmer, and we are just about ready to start. It will be Diane Castillejo, Susan Lusada, and for the green squad, they are starting. However, Susan Lusada, of course, the Lusada name, such a familiar name in the world of swimming, she is two lengths ahead just about ready to make the turn and the pass off yes we move the white squad way ahead Devin Villarama with a slight edge Devin Villarama still with a slight edge however the red squad really undermanned but doing a great account of themselves here in the swimming competitions just about ready Anjanet Abayari she takes off and Dana is ahead maintaining the lead of red of white rather I go to white. Of course, the team that finishes outside the red finishes first gets 10 points and helps their chances for the overall competition here in the swimming competition. Wherein you can score 40 points. And we are just about ready to see that officially the white squad will take it.
Red finishing second, and it looks like Green will pick up the third. Yes, Knuckle Green, and picking up the rear will be Blue. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tide Ultra White on a rampage here in the swimming pool. Para sa fourth, Potogo Blue. Third, is Knuckle Green. And second, is Plus Red for the medal. And for the first, Dating kampiyon na naman, Tide Ultra White. O gaya ng nakikita nyo sa mga screens nyo mga kaibigan, ang matapos ang ating swimming competition, lamang po ang, ang white team, ang Tide Ultra White with a total of 92 points, picking up the championships in the track and field and swimming competitions. In second spot, we have the Snaku Green squad with a strong spurt, finishing second, to Tide Ultra Whites, Naku Green taking second in the track and field as well as the swimming events. In third spot, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Photo Go Blue squad with 36 points. Red scoring 31 points at the end of the swimming competition. Ladies and gentlemen, yan po ang ating katayuan ng mga kopunan with still the volleyball and basketball competition still to come here in the Star Olympics for 1994. Okay, this is the tug-of-war competition, one of the fun events we have here for the Star Olympics for 1994, ladies and gentlemen. This will involve also the teams, Both, all the four teams will have their own tug-of-war combatants, if you may put it that way. The green team, let's focus on the green team for the time being. They will include the following, Mauro Flores Jr., Bodhi Estrada, Paquito Garcia, Nonoy de Guzman, Eli Babasa, Bernard Atienza, Romy Romulo, Boy Antiforda, Ranoro Zamora, Nel Delfinger, and Wawi Cruz. Basi Wawi Cruz, kasali rito mga kaibigan. Sa kabilang panig, if we go to the white team, the white team is going to be on the left of your screens, ladies and gentlemen. They will include Joe Andrade, Romel Valdez, Romy Bagyo, Roger Moring, Ray Sagun, Rene Matias, Bernie Ramos, June De La Paz, Mon Lee, and Red Lanao. In just a moment, we shall be set for the actual pull. And this is a one-shot deal. We'll have it in a while. This is a fun event, which will also be counted. Yes, we are underway. The pull, the white with a slight edge. White with a slight edge. Looks like they will have it over. Oh, no, yes, and it is. Tide Ultra White with a win. And this is going to be a winner-winner affair, ladies and gentlemen. And they will go up against the winner of the red against the blue battle here in the tug-of-war battles for the Star Olympics of 1994. Back with us here for the continuation of the tug-of-war competition. We shift colors now. We go red against blue. The red side, which will be at the right of your screens, friends, will be made up of Telly, Ma Telly Babasa, Richard Bonin, Mike Castillo, Cesar Iglesias, Rudy Lapid, Ray Roldan, and we get underway. We've got more of the names as we sail along. This is a tough battle, ladies and gentlemen, as both sides try to outpull each other. We are still in the center of this handkerchief. Refuses to move. Red with a very slight edge. Yes, red with a slight edge, but it is not a firm one until now. Well, the, again, the officials making sure that everything is in order. Na para wala hong an unfair advantage as we go into competition. Here we go! White with a quick pull, that quick tug, red trying to re-establish its strength over the pole, but white with that sudden pull, they will win it! Tide Ultra White <laughs> had that sudden burst, that sudden pull, which was just enough to give them the advantage they needed to win here in the tug of war competitions for the Star Olympics for 1994. 
Isopropyl alcohol is the generic name of Rhea rubbing alcohol. For disinfecting purposes, isopropyl alcohol has been proven to be more effective than ethyl alcohol. Pagkatapos ng ensayo, pagkatapos ng trabaho, pag ikaw ay nagalusan, pang banyo sa may sakit, at marami pang ibang gamit, mag-raya rubbing alcohol, walang patawad sa mikrobyo. Isopropyl alcohol is the generic name of Rhea Robbing Alcohol. For disinfecting purposes, isopropyl alcohol has been proven to be more effective than ethyl alcohol. Okay, ito naman si... Alright, we're back here at the Ultra for more of the 1994 Blue. Star Olympics. This time we have the three-point okay, shootout, the Rhea rubbing alcohol three-point shootout. That's Bakino there, Benedict yes. Aquino. We've got four teams here, of course. Benedict Aquino is representing the Blue squad. Lots of time. He should uh, take his time. Yes, there are only three racks of five uh, basketballs apiece. He's got 17 seconds in which to shoot the last five basketballs. He's tied, uh, oh, surpassed uh, Miguel Vera. He's got six now. All right, so Benedict Aquino has six points. The other participants, by the way, uh, with, with the photo glue, photo glue, uh, photo go blue <laughs> squad, aside from Benedict Aquino, of course, is Jordan Osorio. For the Red Splash team, Philip Salvador and Willie Revillame. For Snacko Green, it's Eric Cayetano and Rolly Kizon. And for uh, Tide Ultra White, Devin Villarama and Miguel Vera. It's going to be Rolly Kizon's turn. As you said, he's uh, representing Snacko Green. So the score to beat is six points. It was established by Benedict Aquino. 40 seconds is the time given to each player. Rolly Kison has won. And <laughs> he thought there was one ball more to go. Yeah. Rolly with his second conversion. Right, but you know, I like what he's doing. He's taking his time. Lots yeah, of time. There's that a lot of clock. time. 15 seconds. Very deliberate uh, stands by Rolly Kison. And Raleigh will have to settle for three points. By the way, Rhea rubbing alcohol is giving away 15,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. That's nice. As cash, cash prize, mm -hmm. yes. That's for the team prize? Well, that's the uh, top prize here in the uh, three-point shootout uh, sponsored mm -hmm. by Rhea rubbing alcohol. You know, Ed, I'm sure these players are starting to realize just how difficult it is to shoot from the three-point oh, yeah. region. And we're using the professional uh, yes. distance here. Yes, especially when all eyes are on you, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a whole <laughs> different story. Willie Revillame of uh, Splash Red. Of course, they just won over Tide Ultra White in the battle for third. Willie only with one conversion so far. Now from top of the key. Okay, three points now by Willy Revillame. That's his fourth. And couldn't quite make the fifth. So it's still six right. points as the uh, uh -huh. score to beat. Correct. That, that was uh, by Benedict Aquino. Yes, I just got word here that the team price is 15,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. And this comes from Mr. Cesar Neri of Filusa. Brand manager. Phil Yusa, yes. The sponsors of this uh, three-point shootout. Raya rubbing alcohol. And now we have Devin Villarama of the white team. He should have a good uh, 
number here. Let's see. He's got a very high trajectory in yeah. that shot. A Lobo shot. Lobo, like mm. they say. Well, more chances of it to go in. Yeah. He's got four points already. It looks like the top of the key is his spot. Mm -hmm. Already got six. Only Still. one. Needs only one. He's got seven seconds. And he has already topped Benedict Aquino's score. And <laughs> gets he a big does the one better. Right. Or two better than uh, Benedict Aquino. Aquino, right. And he gets a big hand from the crowd here. Yeah. Now we have Jordan Osorio of Photo Go Blue. 40 seconds to make 15 mm -hmm. points or 15 three point shots. Jordan Osorio is wearing those uh, goggles. goggles, protective goggles. Okay, the announcement has also been made. 15,000 pesos is a team prize, and the indi individual winner we, yes, of the we'll three-point shootout will bring home a trophy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will just be as treasured as a famous trophy. Oh, yes. Especially for these guys, Ed. You yeah. know how, how much these guys want to play <laughs> basketball. Yeah, they're pretty serious <laughs> about their basketball. This is Eric Cayetano of the Green Squad, Snacko Green team. Second conversion by Eric Cayetano. And he's on his last rack. He's got 11 seconds to finish off five shots. Uh -huh. He's got good form. Six seconds left. Yes. Okay. What is he? He looked at the clock. Yeah. And that, <laughs> cost him, seconds. that cost him that shot. Yeah, right. Uh, he made six. So Devin Villarama is leading the competitions with eight converted shots. Philip Salvador comes up for Splash Red. So tied ultra white with 11 points so far. It's going to be Philip Salvador's turn now. Philip of Splash Red making the first. That's what you call Lobong Lobo. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why he's got a, his, he should sink a lot here. That's three already for Ipe. Nice form. Yeah. That's going to go. <laughs> it's yes, yes, sir. Six so six far. Points. He needs only three more to win. That clock will catch up, however. He has only four seconds to go. And there's the buzzer. So, so six points. Devin and Miguel win so, this. I don't know. Philip. So we have the white team of Devin Villarama and Miguel Vera with 11 points. We have Splash Red and Portugo Blue actually playing yes. with 10. And Snacko Green bringing up the rear with nine points. So <laughs> Talk about closer. That's yeah, really close. Huh? 11, 10, and 9. So it is the tight ultra-white squad of Devin Villarama and Miguel Vera winning the Rea Alcohol three-point shootout competitions here in the 1994 Star Olympics. A warm handshake, hugs, and kisses all around as we prepare hostilities for the bronze medal match here in the Star Olympics for 1994 volleyball competition. On your screens, ladies and gentlemen, is our first referee, Mr. Jaime Ruiz, 
Mr. Pedrito Bermas is the gentleman who will man the position along the sideline. We get going with our bronze medal match. Isabel Granada. Suset Ranillo is on the back line. Isabel with the setup job. Myla Gumela trying to get that over. Long rally here. Suset apologizing to Lorna Tolentino. And this is still in play, but not for long. Beverly, Beverly Berhel, her punch falling short, was not completely under the ball in that last sequence. So Satranilia, Myla Gomila with the setup job. It's Jean Garcia. Her shot is in. It is in. It is now two to nothing in favor of Tide Ultra White. It's Jean Garcia with a service. Southpaw shot. Melissa De Leon being set up for the spike. It sails up. Maribet Bechara, the choreographer, of course. Lorna Tolentino, since it's airborne, Isabel Granada calling for it. Melissa De Leon taking care of that center position quite well. Maribet chases it. Melissa, uh, rather, Milo Gamilla is cool about it. Same thing with Lara Melissa De Leon. Working very hard. It is in play. Bingloy Saga. Suset diving and skidding for that one. Lisa Belen, they're going to Suset Renilla. Teresa Loizaga. Bing. Sabel Granada looking for an empty spot. Still in play, ladies and gentlemen. Ended. And we now find the score pegged at three to nothing in favor of Tide Ultra White. Jean Garcia still in the service area. Teresa sends it over. White is trying to play a very deliberate game, and they are finding the open spots. Tide Ultra White advances four to nothing here in the first set. We swing back to live action. Isabel Granada, excellent stop there. Oh, Melissa was a step late. She was not squared for that particular dig pass and ended up mishandling the volleyball. It is now five to nothing. Jean Garcia. Her service ends up very short, so a side out for Splash Red. Bing Loy Saga will be serving. That's long. Myla Gumila's wallop ended up too strong. It is now 5-1 to one in favor of Tide Ultra White. Beverly Vergel, they have a problem there. Hitting the first referee's position there. We have side out going to tight ultra white. Five one here in the first set of play. Bronze medal match featuring splash red against tight ultra white. Action perking up. Myla continues to look for the empty area, the open space, really sending it straight into the back line. Teresa, that's her favorite shot, her pet move. That two-hander.
6-1 count. We're at the net. Jean Garcia. Myla. It's a touch. It's a touch. It's lifting the ball. It's 6-1 inside out. Beverly Berhel. It is now 6-2, ladies and gentlemen, here in the first set bronze medal match. Here's Myla Gumila. Bing. Ah! Oh, Melissa De Leon finds that spot. 6-3. It is 6-3 in favor of Tide Ultra White. Look at this. This is a fine volleyball move. As you know very much, uh, very well rather, ladies and gentlemen, that it's not all power in volleyball. It's also placement, and that one ending up in a defensive hole. We have a change in the lineup on Janet Abayari, whom we missed last week because she uh, was really very busy promoting her uh, movie, Darna Pagbabalik. She steps, steps in, rather, for Lorna Tolentino. 6-4 count. Net play. That's where Lara Melissa De Leon loves to spot herself in the middle. Bingloy Saga. Suzette Ranilla. Two people going for it. Teresa. Maribet Bechara doing a good job on the back line. Lara Melissa De Leon ending up short there. On your screens. Sandy on the log cheering on her teammates. Splash red, by the way, on a mild, very mild rally there. They couldn't sustain it. They're still behind 6-4. It's Isabel Granada, that very talented singer and actress. That's out. And it is 7-4. Maribet Bechara with a good decision that time to let it sail out. Ball in play. Goes over. And Jeanette wants to spike it. Teresa looked long, but the decision of Maribet was to go for it. Myla Gumila. Jean Garcia. Myla with the nice placement. Oh boy, good eye by Myla. Look at this. Tide Ultra White still in control of the service. Ooh. Beth Tamayo ending up short there. And, and a change in the lineup will be made as well as a timeout. together on channel 7 Barna with too much strength behind that one and Darna being kitted on by <laughs> her teammates and friends Lorna Tolentino with a very nice smile there all the stars you know the competition is intense and the rivalry quite keen among the stars with the enjoyment level spirit and the friendships being forged here so marked so evident Myla Gumila is working that net Jean Garcia has been steady Maribet Bechara Beverly trying to send it to a good receiver it is still in play they got it over yes it is in play and still alive oh 
The problem there is that Teresa immediately spotted, tried to spot her target with a quick look. However, she lost sight of the ball and ended up spiking it quite short. A ferocious rally being displayed by both sides. In fact, Ty Walter White keeping it very much alive. We have Cheryl Cruz making her first appearance in the first set. We have Isabel Granada being replaced. Cheryl Cruz, during the warm-ups earlier today, was really trying to work up a sweat, trying to work on her reception. It's 11 to 4. It's Suset Ranillo of the very famous Ranillo clan of actors and actresses. Teresa Loizaga. Maila Gumila, Maribet Bechara, spike from the center. Set up job, Teresa Laizaga. Again, that's her favorite move, her favorite shot. Maribet Bechara. It is still up in the air and playable. Jean Garcia. They'll try to go to the other side this time. Cheryl Cruz keeps it up. Landa Garcia, a bit of a problem, but it is still in play. Cheryl. She set. Myla Gumila rushed to the net just in case it was short, and it is in. It is side out for Splash Red. Coming up to serve will be Beth Damayo. Beth Damayo, of course, appears on Body and Soul on Channel 9 and ends up short. Wasted opportunity for Splash Red to get a rally going here. We have tied ultra wide four points away from copying the first set in this bronze medal match. Of course, in each event, medals are being handed out to all the top three finishers, whether it's a team event or a or an individual event. Well, the way we have structured the Star Olympics for this year, it looks like everything is basically a team event. Maribet with the punch. Still 11 to 4. Tide Ultra White is in front. We're still in the first set. Maribet Bechara short. Benglo Isaga. Punch. That's out. Everybody was calling it out on the wide side of the floor. Again, uh, we'd like to thank Milo, the official energy drink of the Star Olympics for 1994. All American shoes are official footwear and official shoes. AU shirts are official outfit and the Philippine Journal are official newspaper. Beverly Verhel ending up not prepared, not squared for the shot. It is 12 to 4. Likewise, lending their generous support to the Star Olympics for 1994 are Extraderm and Vitasoft, Dio Whitener, Bench, Modest, and Carefree, Rare Rubbing Alcohol, Beer na Beer, Wet Ones and Lysol, Lipovitan, Albatross and Gleam Liquid Salsa, Richie Orange, Baby Flow Baby Powder, Baby Flow Cotton Buds, and Kiona. And for your support and participation, thank you very much. 12 to 4 count. It is Beverly Verhel in charge of the service and nothing but miscues on the white side of the floor a change in the lineup is forthcoming by ultra white will send back in lorna tolentino for cheryl cruz here in the first set the referee of course making sure pedrito bermas that the substitution uh, order is followed properly It is 12 to 4. Or rather, checking that. It is 12 to 5, in, still in favor of Tide Ultra White. Myla Gomila to Jean Garcia. LT, Lorna Tolentino, short. Gusto niya si Pahin yung bola. Baka sakaling makatulong nga naman, ano ha? It is now 12 to 6.
Ayla Gumila. Jean with the punch. It looks short. Checking in for the first time will be Sandy Andulong, and she will be checking in for Beth Tamayo in the lineup of Splash Red. First set reads 12 to 7, ladies and gentlemen. A five point lead by Tide Ultra Wide, which has done so well in the competition so far on an overall perspective or an overall basis. It is Myla Gumila with a wallop from the center of the defensive line. Yes! Side out. Likewise, participating in today's Star Olympics and, our, and have participated since our first day last June the 4th, Burger Machine. Taking care of all our hamburgers, brownies, fried chicken, Red Bull, Ambrosius, Lechon, Paca. Nakakagutog talaga ito mga plug na ito. Likewise po, ang Skin Glow Facial Lotion available at Mercury and Tropical Hot Outlets. Look at this, Tide Ultra Wide trying to get a dance going. Donita Rose is there. We missed Donita last week. And Janeta Bayari, she does back a powerful serve. And Anjanet was talking to me earlier and she said that this is really her sport. Sandy Andulaw has a struggle. And that she smiles it off. Sandy, of course, and her husband, uh, Christopher De Leon, that uh, very nice telecine just a few weeks back when they, which they shot in Rome. And Jeanette, Myla Gumila, 12 to 7 is the count, and that finds a defensive hole. 12 to 8. Glenda Garcia in charge of the service now. And Jeanette, Myla, Jean Garcia. To set Ranilio, punched by Jean Garcia. Teresa trying to play a calm and collected game. Tries to push it over, and she crosses over. Oh boy, she had a real good chance, but she had to dance the Timikling along the center line. 12 to nine here in the first set of this bronze medal match featuring Tidal from White against Splash Red. Again, this is Sam Sarmenta taking care of your coverage of the Star Olympics for 1994. And that is a solid serve that could not be handled by Bing Loy Saga. It is 13 to 9. We have tied ultra wide. Two points away from copying the first set. Myla Gumila. That looked wide. She was trying to work the sideline off the serve. But that ended up being too wide. 13 to 9. Dengla Isaga sends it to the back line and Janetta Bayari was there. Dengla Isaga's attempt is short. It's side out. I'd like to correct myself at this 13-8 at this point. Oh, make that now 14 to 8. Beverly Verhel with a handling problem there. And we find Tide Ultra White a point away from taking this first set in the bronze medal match. A pair of beauties, Donita Rose and Lorna Tolentino. Isabel. Take care of that first set and charge it to Tide Ultra White. They are now a set away from taking the bronze medal in the women's competition in the volleyball tournament for the Star Olympics for 1994. The final count, as you see on your screens, it is 15 to 8 in favor of Tide Ultra White.